Hello and welcome to Knitting Nook here on Seas for Crone, and I am Ray, and I am the Crone in Seas for Crone. Um, not a lot been happening with the knitting. Um, no extras. Just been working on the summer project that is now going to be into the fall project. Um, I may end up with yarn. It may have been way too ambitious. To sit there and think I could crochet that whole um, 2,000 yards into a great big huge shawl because I've already got a decent amount of length on. I'm I got here. I'm on row 140. Um, yeah. 140 up here to that point, and so I can cross that off there, and I'll start in my stitches new. Um, but yes, very ambitious <laughs> to think that I might actually get this done into a big, big, huge shawl. Um, and um, being careful of my cord for my for the phone here. Um, Oops, sorry. I will show you why. I'm having to use another phone um, because I have misplaced the, my work phone, my working phone that I was using to make videos and everything. And then I misplaced my camera stand. It turned out it was in the truck. It had fallen out of my one bag into the back of the truck with all the mess of fishing stuff and everything that's back there. Um, so, um, it just made everything kind of bit fooey, and then, uh, this week has been migraines since Sunday. Just go figure, and the hot weather, and just, <sighs> summer, really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I need to have a good one. No, no mark, no migraines, no stress. Because I haven't even really been able to get out into the garden between the allergies, not feeling good, related with humidity and stuff going on, rain, migraines, arthritis, dialysis. I just haven't been able to get outside, and then on top of that, I haven't been feeling good. So, ah, summer. What's up, man? Dude. <laughs> Anyways, I, I have on and off um, been knitting. Uh, kind of put on hold the whole crochet afghan thing. Um, we'll be picking that up soon. Um, it is 1 a.m. on August 27th. I don't always date these because sometimes, a lot of times it can take two, three days before I get the video set up and done and did it and posted. So, but yes, I will let you know it's like one o'clock in the morning. Um, very, very quiet. Um, Kirk is in bed sleeping, which is good. Uh, didn't make it to dialysis on Tuesday, so went to dialysis yesterday on Wednesday. Uh, not the best way to spend your anniversary, but um, we went out for dinner the night before and had a really good dinner. So, uh, managing to be knitting. But, so, here is what I've got in the, uh, let's see if I can see through. Let me peek around. Oops, there goes bag. I already have, like, I can't barely hold it all up. There we go. Um, I couldn't spread it out without it falling off the needles. Whoop, careful to myself. Um, but I would say one, two, three, four, five, and about, about six, six, my hands are about six inches long from here to here. So that's 36 inches. It's already at that point down here, about the two feet to three feet 
wide there, so God only knows how much is on here. And as you can see, it's a fair length already. Um, won't be able, won't necessarily get proper um, measurements on it until I actually take it off the the needles and uh, put them on. Uh, put it out flat, and then I can measure it. Uh, the sweater I'm wearing is a slightly modified version of the lady, the women's cardigan uh, crystal from Bag Day Crochet Me. Um, it was, uh, what is it, Bernat Premium yarn. Very, very soft, um, but it uh, uh, but it kind of fuzzed up. I don't throw this thing in the dryer, and I have lost some weight, so it's like super, super huge on me. Um, but I still have, and I'm squishing this here, I still have what looks like at least half the ball of the 1800 plus yards, I do believe it was, in here. Uh, Red Heart Comfort, yeah, 1859 yards, 1700 meters, a medium number four. Uh, there is a really nice pattern on there. Um, it's not the softest yarn in the world. Uh, this was Cardinal Red. Um, but yeah, the goal was to take this whole ball of yarn and just turn it into this. Because I've got another large one that I did of us the square bottom if you've been falling around um uh, oops ah, ah. Ooh, there we go I was sitting on it no wonder i couldn't get it dun, dun, dun. but yeah it's a bigger version of this one of the square bottom shawl um and uh It, um, and it's just big enough and I can crawl under it like a mini little blanket and type thing. So that was the whole point with with this um, was to uh, do the same thing but in a knitted version of it. Um, like I said, it's not the softest yarn. My husband and I just uh, had uh, was out shopping and that I saw them and went, woo, this would be really cool, you know, to kind of, to have. So, but anyway, um, I don't know that I would make any, like a sweater or anything, unless it was a sweater to go over stuff. Um, the shawl will be fine because I'll be using it probably more as a blanket than anything else to sit in this chair. Um, but it's coming along fine. I just wanted to update and let you know what was going on. Um, like I said, I, I'm up to uh, row 140 um, in it. And it's just the for those who may have just popped in it. Um, it's just basically a garter stitch and a stocking stitch. Um, garter stitch type thing on the outside so that you create a border as you go um, so that you don't necessarily have to trim it if you don't want um, and, but I'm enjoying myself like uh, knitting the knitting has been a really great break for me this summer um, with everything that's going on <laughs> yeah just being rather kind of fabulous to um, sit back and have a project that I don't have to think about very much because we have basically it ends up with you have on the knit row you have the two increases the one on either on both sides there and then there's the bit of counting on the purl side but you knit that count part and then you purl straight across through the middle 
and the edges just follow straight up um, and uh, it's just yeah it's just been kind of fun to do it so for those of you who have been following along um, I hope you're either done <laughs> that you made it the size you wanted or that it's been an easy, as I've always said, an easy um, project for you. Um, like I said, this can be done with um, any yarn, any size needles, you know. Um, if you crochet, you can actually take the, the, the 51 across and just work it back and forth with a double crochet with increases on the sides so that it goes up. It's it's a very very simple pattern. Um, not a lot of work to do but depending on what you use and how you do it, it um, can be a very pretty 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 shawl and for those of us who are not very tall or don't like to have anything under your butt um, the shawl generally because it's square it work. It's more focused on width rather than length, and uh, so it works well for me. I'm only five three, so. Um, but anyways, um, like I said, and just hold this up again. Um, uh, let's see if we can. Okay, put this bag on the floor here and scooch in. Um, you can, whoops, let's do it this way, there we go, you can see this uh, garter back and forth versus the stocking stitch where it's making just that very sort of subtle edge on there. Um, this is 10 across so that it does make that nice wide border on there. Um, and as I've said before, this is definitely a pattern that when you're knitting, um, use circular needles because as it gets bigger, um, you start to get this squishy squashied up in here. And uh, I, I can't imagine trying, even on the longer uh, knitting needles, trying to uh, get something to stay on there so so yeah circular needles allow you to have like thousands of stitches across and still have lots of space to work with so anyway, so yes um, another there's um, as I can as you can see I'm doing very very well my knitting is not too too bad uh, <laughs> it's one of the things I needed to practice is consistency um, and, uh, I, I, that's about it, um, just to say, except to say that it's, uh, it's, it's been going, and it's been going well, um, and I'm glad that in this time of yucky summerness, <laughs> well, I don't know if it's yucky summerness, but, um, uncooperative summer that I've been having with everything going on, that I chose to just focus on one project and because uh, yeah this is absolutely been nice and relaxing so and so that's it for now um, uh, any for that um, for potential new knitting projects I have seen other shawl patterns I have downloaded some and I need to print them out um, but probably what I'm going to do is start focusing on Christmas projects. Um, uh, short, quick, easy stuff. Um, I've been doing Vistaprint too as well. I've got one, one piece of Christmas present already done and stuff on that. And if you check in to see is for Chrome, depending on which way I post this. I'll be talking about that on there. Um, I'll be showing off a little bit of the order that I got and stuff, but I'm not sure what I'm doing for a knit project next. I, I might just uh, uh, work up a scarf hat set or something for myself. Um, 
or I might just make something else for somebody. <laughs> Anyways, um, happy knitting, and I will knit with you later. Bye.